evacuated right now. Hong Kong airport right now and uh, yeah we are headed to Philippines uh, yeah and I just like slept two hours and I think I was sleeping in the plane and it's a city and that's John Bai over there I'm a lot of people get it to claim our baggage from number seven and then we need to take it and pay, run over to another terminal to catch a flight to Kataklan. Mero luggage I could just take it but still I couldn't get it because there's no place to go. And so they was running like crazy to get my luggage. <laughs> oh my god it was such a ride today. Oh my god. Like I mean, like, we, I mean, last race of the center, I mean, like, um, plane living, I mean, 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 I Oh my god, I look so tired. Flight like the like we came at the last moment, and like when you came here, we found found out that the boat that goes to um, Borake uh, has been stopped because of the bad weather, and they're stranded here in the airport, and they might keep it somewhere around here. But I don't know if that's like a nice decent hotel or not. I'm like really scared. First night in Borake. What I had expected and what happened. You see all the people that are stranded. This they should have just cancelled the flight to Boraki today if the boat was not moving. Hi guys, uh, we had a very hard luck today. Um, 
uh, there was no boat to Boracay and we, like we were taken here in some a lodge like Chikaku driver reporting that for lodge and at first I was like really really angry it's a type of place too it's like very small lodge I mean yeah I was like really really angry I mean and since because since I had never stayed at uh, something like this uh, yeah Manduke Aleli Royo but then uh, I went again to the airport to see how people are staying there and it's Motsune, Motsune I went to the airport to see how people are staying there and you know, so because I, like, um, we might everyone are in the floor and then there's nowhere to go and everything in the, around this place is like fully booked hotel or cake in China and it's at least so at least we have some place and the auntie, uh, the owner of this place, uh, she was very kind enough to offer her uh, sitting room to us. It's the sitting room method with a bed right there, so we're sleeping in one of the beds. But at the moment, then I'm by like I, wa I wanted to check into another hotel. So here is something how everything is booked. And um, yeah, it looks fine. I'm getting used to it. I mean, it happens. You know, like my you need to experience so many different kinds of things. About at least I got I got to experience this side, and I know like it's okay. It's okay. I'm staying here. It's like uh, of course, all the rooms. The room that this auntie is selling is like um, driver or bus type for room. The room they were like. And uh, she, she saw me crying and then she offered her uh, sitting room, which is kind of okay. So, Boli Ban, we are planning to uh, go to Soli when we go to Borake, or uh, Soli when we fly back to Manila because it's like really difficult, you know. Uh, see what happens tomorrow. Not so sad, I mean, Borake. I know, I Manila. So guys, yeah, it happens. Life ma pali kaya kikyo nsa nsa. You gotta experience all kind of different things. You need to see the highs and the lows. And it's raining so bad here. Ati pan ko yung gago sa. So yung miski na wani manila sa na. So yeah, guys. Uh, abot ay al sleep wala. I'm kind of fine now. Obviously, I was like really sad to go to school. You can call that. I continuously go to school, but that now it's fine. I'm getting used to it. At least all the men said airport must stand it by the men said just to say, "Boy, now we're staying here." I wish I, I think I can show you the place. No, but then the auntie is there, it's like invading her privacy. I don't want to show the place. Yeah, it's fine. Life might get you in trouble, but I'm not Oh yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Um, let's see. Bora is on a phone to give money. Let's get a phone to give you. So, I'll see you guys. Bye. It's been raining non-stop for. 15, 15, 15 hours right now and this is the front of the house it's all drenched in water there are water everywhere and uh, um, my friend is in Palawan right now and she said that the typhoon is heading there so I don't think we'll go to Palawan as well uh, as, as soon as the um, airport is open, we are will be heading to Hong Kong again. This is the situation of the house right now. Mommy will sit also. Mommy will sit also. A car is willing to take us to the airport right now. We are waiting for the car. So we are being evacuated right now. We are with 
evacuated to this place. This is more safe for us. Right now. Situation is in control right now. We're uh, heading somewhere to get food. We're like really hungry. The house that we were staying in is like I think drowning right now. And I'm so scared for that auntie because she's there alone. Yeah, uh, she was like so sweet. So yeah, we're going to have lunch because we're very hungry. We've not eaten anything since yesterday morning. And today it is what time is it? It's 11 and we're like really hungry. We really need to eat something. First food in 24 hours. Yes, it is. 24 hours, but body body body. Okay. How do you feel? Middle hand down now, but we're doing life. But it's okay, life, man. You gotta experience like different kind of things, right? Okay, na. Is it time to make a plan, right? Na. It was the most scary, scary experience that I have ever had. You can see, na. I have been put this in the bag because it's not like. Um, I couldn't even wash my face because the house was like flooding in water and uh, and it's an emergency emergency situation where we had to be evacuated to the airport. Oh my god, look at me. And I have a couple of my eyes. Scary how we were really having so much fun in Hong Kong and in uh, films my brother, Iglina, very proud. That's it. I go and then Bonnie Polder. We were like a near death experience. Finally, all the Bonnie Polders and we are still confused whether we will go to Boracay or will head back to Hong Kong. Thank you, Bonnie Polder. Manila was near, okay? So we are finally heading to Boracay. But it's still raining. I hope it stops so that we can enjoy our trip. We only have tomorrow to see where I may be going to only the day after tomorrow. The weather is not that good. I'm going to struggle with the boat to work is taking so long and the city puts up on it in the subway then I did I don't know how to do it I don't my floor I go by and it's the good top say the toilet me in Lord Kitsani. Then I was the auntie in my good top of logger eyes. Who's the good one? The Adi Adi could have the city go by and his kid as a top. Struggle is real, bro. So we're heading to Boraki now, finally, after exactly 25, 24 hours. No, wait, 25, 26 hours. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? This is scary. Baraki vlog will be on another vlog of mine so yeah keep on watching and wait for my next vlog look at how beautiful Boracay is oh my god <laughs> but was it worth all that pain I, I don't know let's see we will find it out tomorrow so this is our hotel there's a bridge right there I don't think you can see it right now but I'll show it to you tomorrow 
It's a bridge to go to our room. So, I will tell you, I'm going to see Sudip Kulagi. We're going to see. Okay, shorts and chappal. I left with the auntie with chappal luggage. We were supposed to arrive here yesterday at uh, three, but then they uh, were caticlan disastrous incident. Like that, we have to be got here only at uh, six o'clock today. So it's a good day. The west boy boy, as a company almost west day boy. So I just have tomorrow. We're checking out day after tomorrow at. 7 a.m. in the morning. So, yeah, a little bit fresh. The Hego Sola. I just took a shower and um, came out to buy Sudip's slippers and things like that. We are in the market. Sudip is here to see the shirts. So, it's starting to rain now and we are about to run. Bora ke ma summer khana hai ke ta pani le bhakta banaye zaban pani kore denser. Aaj zaban pani kore. So we are heading hotel and we, I think we'll do a room service and a massage, I guess, and then we'll go to sleep. And tomorrow will be a brand new day at Bora Kai. I hope the weather gets better. If the weather gets better, I'm gonna do a lot of vlogging and do some water activities. Yeah. Hope that the weather is good. Guys, if I talk about the experience that I had yesterday, it was such a such a bad experience. Oh my god, But then it's fine. And as a banner, what happened is we got a wake up call saying that the house is flooded with water and we were like so scared. Mm, like unsani like uh the kind of call that we got when we woke up was like tsunami ne aaye jastai garera ne tarsina garera uthayeko the and etike ta like kasto dar aira sutirako the because the place was like something else only dar lagdane thyo and uh yeah and then we woke up and saw that our house ma pani har thireko raicha and uh, yeah, Chito Chito, like we were so scared. Uh, shit, what was the name of that? I'm the online book. What was the name of that thing? Okay? something. Oh shit. Those people were like, the service of those people were like hands up, thumbs up. Just to Belama, like when no one wanted to, you know, use a van or when everyone was trying to save, be safe themselves, they came up to pick us up and then took us to their office and kept us there till two three hours till um, four hours four hours they, they t kept us in their office for four hours and they about a borake samapani they took like a very good care of us borake samal purayu and borake dekhi hotel samapani unir ke staff le lina hai with um i really need to know the town ko naam ke so if you mere leather jacket mein leke se hai Island Star Express. Island Star Express, guys. Those people are like really, really good. Uh, if you ever come to Philippines, like you should book from them. I think they're just like uh, vehicle. I think they're just vehicle company, or I don't know. I, I just booked from my hotel. I told that I need a airport pickup and uh, airport pickup bunny. The unir line zimadi eres hotel le ani. So we were not even their customer. A hotel le to town le bani resa and then but they took care of us like so well even your hotel even tithi gare na like they didn't give us refund they didn't like even call us to see whether we're safe whether we're fine or anything to express the express star service island island Ex express service were were like really good so I highly 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 recommend when you go staff or do like rati when I was crying because there was no food there was nothing I was so worried. Um, they took me, they came with us like a few minutes. It's still heavy rain for my pony, pani, pony, go well. My like, I feel the umbrella, no order of women. I'm like, all right, all right, but they took us to 7 Eleven and they took us to um, uh, the place where we could um, exchange money and um, and got some money. Fairy, I feel poor on IO and banabony. They like, when you get staff, Lenny, boss, the Mila, I'm like, evacuate, go to God, but they were like really, really good. So, I really highly recommend them, guys. If you ever come to Philippines, find Island Express service, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'm sure, um, 
एक छिन खाना आरो आएपछि आल स्लिप होला आज त लाइक राम्ररी सुतेको भइसन हिजो 24 आवर्स मा लाइक राम्ररी सुतेको पनि छैन एन्ड राम्ररी खाएको पनि छैन सो टायर्ड आउन त टिकन आउट टु शावर बिकज ओ माय गॉड बेन दौडिने बेलामा त मुख पनि धोएको थिएन ब्रश पनि गरेको थिएन के पनि गरेको थिएन कपाल पनि गर्न पाएको थिएन यस्तो नराम्रो हालतमा हामीहरु भागेको कि यो गाइस हैव नो आइडिया Nahapani Sunni that was a good But yeah, whatever happened happened for a reason. Now we are here in Borake. I hope tomorrow is gonna be a very good day. And the day after tomorrow we are flying back to Palawan, El Nido Palawan. Yeah, I hope my Philippines journey is gonna be amazing. I I hope finger cross. That's it guys. Thank you for listening to my rant for six minutes. Bye.